Well, to see what says, I'm thinking of Bonnie. She was 18, I was 21, and she was beautiful and creative. I was obsessed with one aspect of her beauty. There were these two curves that formed her ways. Now, it was my vision, obsessed as I was, to hold her by those two curves, bring her into me, and kiss her on the lips. But I had to orchestrate this, you know. You, you just can't move in on something like that with uh, no planning. So I decided that I would take her out to dinner. I chose Josiah Chowning's Tavern in Williamsburg, Virginia. She living in Yorktown. So I called a month ahead and I talked to Henri, the Mater D. Henri, I'm Bill Mettler. And I want a table central to the portico. And I want it on the solstice. June 21st. Now, at 8 p.m., if you no, make it 9, bring up a full moon and uh, have a bayberry candle and a pewter cup in the center, the center of the table. And I'll make it worth your while, Henri. So, I picked her up. I was driving my Volkswagen. And she stepped out in a dress. Uh, floral print dress. It looked like she was poured into it. I wanted to touch her immediately, but I knew timing was everything. So we got in the car and we went to Williamsburg. There we had wonderful dinner. They were famous for their New Brunswick stew, and uh, they served it to us, and I, being 21, could order wine. And when no one was looking, I slipped her a couple of sips. And we had a great evening, and Henri, true to his word, brought up that full moon after dusk, and it lit the portico. The wisteria was out, a bit of honeysuckle over the courtyard wall. It was very heavy, and we had a, a great talk. We got back in the Volkswagen and chose the Colonial Parkway to drive home. Now, the Colonial Parkway is not just some ordinary road. No. It is 13 miles of exposed aggregate undulating through the countryside. There to the left was the York River. The full moon made a swath on the surface. And Bonnie says, Bill, pull over here. I said, hello. <laughs> Pulled the folks right in. She jumped out. Of, what was she doing? She jumped out of the car. She went over to a sign. You couldn't see a thing on this sign because the moon was in back of it. It silhouetted the sign. But it was one of those metal signs with the raised letters. And she figured out the first word by feeling with her fingers. She says, the first word is there, Bill. Go for the second. So I, I put my fingers up there. And was was the second word. And we pressed together a his, this historical marker about General Cornwallis surrendering to General Washington on a nearby Yorktown battlefield. We got back in the car, and was a little disoriented, and I drove down the road a little bit, and she said, look, pull over at this pond. So we pull over, we get out, and Bonnie goes up to the edge of the pond. It's beautiful. The moon is sh 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 shining on the surface, and, and uh, Willow leaves are floating there, and she goes, Wah! And a hundred pond frogs answer back. This guy can talk to frogs, too. So I gave it a go, and I, I wasn't half bad. I got into the car and went to her, her parents' house there in Yorktown, and I figured her dad cut me a break because the porch light was out. I knew this was the time to realize my vision. We were standing there on the front steps. And I reached for those curves. I touched them. An electric shock went through me. This brought her to me. It tilted my head. And that's when it happened. It wasn't
wasn't much of a fart. It was just a... Now, stop that. There wasn't anything, really. I'll, I'll show you how it went. That was worse. It was a squeaker. I didn't know whether she'd heard it or not. I was looking at her, and uh, I, I was quickly assessing the damage. And, uh, I arrived at a physical principle, warm air rises. So, I kissed her quickly, I backed off the steps, I got in my Volkswagen, I forgot I was in reverse, and I slammed into a pine tree. I went around the circular driveway, waving at Bonnie, disoriented there on the porch. All the way home, I was cursing myself, I said, Bill, you ruined it! It was a perfectly orchestrated evening, everything was perfect, leading to the kiss, and you ruined it, you had to do that! And my face was radiating heat. Sirens going off in my head. <laughs> Years later, I asked my wife, I said, Bonnie, do you remember that, that, uh, that evening at uh, Josiah Chalmers? She said, oh, what a beautiful evening that was, Bill. Remember the meal? and the moon over the portico. Remember the sign game and the frogs? Say, yeah, 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 I remember all that, but did you hear it? And she said, hear what? Said, you know, the fart, did you hear the fart? She said, what fart? So I wondered, what must it have looked like to her in that evening? I imagine it looked something like this.